Hello, my name is Brad Heller and welcome to the Heller Approach Acting Studio. Today is an exciting day. We're going to be starting a new series where I'm going to be actually playing scenes from some of my favorite movies, showing some of my favorite actors, and I'm going to do a small commentary to just sort of discuss what I liked about their work and also tap into some of the principles that I believe they are using that makes their work so unique and special and also discuss how we use these techniques at my own school. So you can kind of see these techniques and how they apply to great work. So today we're going to be showing a scene from The Dark Knight, uh, Heath Ledger's performance. A lot of people say that this is his greatest performance and I would have to agree. I think he had a lot, uh, a big challenge because, you know, earlier, many years ago, uh, Jack Nicholson did a, a version of the Joker in one of the Batman movies. And I think Heath Ledger had a, had a challenge to be able to keep up with that. And I think he, he pulled it off. Uh, so it's an exciting scene. So let's check it out. And I'm going to give a small commentary as the scene plays. So you'll hear my voice as the scene plays. But if that bothers you, you can always watch the scene on your own time after the video. So let's check it out. This is the scene. So I'm going to be watching the scene as, uh, as you watch it with me. So Gary Oldman here, I love even him here because he's so Obviously, believable and so honest. And you not. believe the circumstances he's in. Me? I was right here. Look at uh, Heath Ledger. I mean, his what choices. I always talk about going outside of the box. I always talk about playing a villain yes, and that the horror is that there is no horror. In other words, he doesn't play your typical villain like I'm a scary guy. He turns the tables on it and he finds the friendly in him. Now he combines that with the rage and the intensity in his eyes. So when you put those two things together, I find that to be really fascinating to watch. What's the time? He's also very believable. Well, if you notice, kind of he's totally he reacting off of Gary Oldman. He's several. not playing a cartoon. He's playing this guy as a real guy who's nuts. If we're going to play games. Gary Oldman here, also very believable, just sort of taking it in, given the circumstances that this crazy joker has killed Good many cop, people. bad cop routine? Not exactly. I wish start with the head. The victim gets all fuzzy. He can't feel the neck. See? You wanted me. Here I am. Now, I like Christian Bale in this role as well. Uh, I think given the circumstances that he's in, he managed to pull this off, but I do think Heath Ledger kind of steals the steals the scene. You let them take your place. I love the way uh, Heath Ledger is just so believable. Those mob fools want you gone so they can get back to the way things were. He's still a real guy. But I know the truth. Look at the way he's sitting there. It's also fascinating to watch him the way he sits. It's not just an ordinary pose. I don't want to kill you. Now that laugh right there, for example, I love that because it was so organic and honest. No. It wasn't sort of no, you. Uh, performed. You complete me. All God, very honest and believable money. reactions to You're not. Batman. Even if you'd like to be. Very believable right there. To them, Look at Heath Ledger's quick. eyes if you can see them. Like me. Very electric. I need you right now. Filled with rage. When they don't. And what is his objective, do you They'll think? Cast you out. Like I leper. think his objective personally is to create chaos. We could explore his emotion as being potentially rage. It could also be anticipation because he's so excited because he's pulling off this huge caper. He's about to reveal to Batman what he's been doing, how he kidnapped his girlfriend, kidnapped Harvey Dent. See, I'm not a monster. I'm just ahead of the Look at how friendly he looks right there. Where's Dent? I have all these rules and you think they'll save you. Now, do you believe him? I believe him. I believe Heath Ledger right there. The only sensible way to live in this world is without rules. And tonight, you're going to break your one rule. Totally reacting. No, there's only minutes left. You're going to have to play my little game if you want to save one of them. 
Watch his tongue there. Isn't that weird? <sighs> Creepy and weird. While there. Almost friendly, like a <clears throat> but like a lizard. Again. The way you threw yourself after her. <laughs> <laughs> Very organic laugh right there, if you notice. Look at you go! All honest. Nothing looks fake here either. <sighs> Does Harvey know about you and his little bunny? Where are they? Killing is making a choice. Where are they? Choose between one life or the other. Your friend, the district attorney. Or his blushing bride to be. <laughs> Very believable. You have nothing. nothing Do you feel Heath right Ledger's nothing pain and his vulnerability? <laughs> Tell you what they are. Both of them. And look at also the exhilaration that he's feeling right there because he's telling him his caper. Look at how excited he is. He's been planning this whole thing. Which one you going after? Gosh, I love watching this. Gives me gives me goosebumps. Anyway, what I wanted to show here was some of the principles that I teach at the school, what I believe to be in action in a great scene. Heath Ledger's performance is one of my favorites. Uh, so, in conclusion, I also today, uh, I, we're gonna be doing uh, questions because I get a lot of questions that are asked of me on YouTube. So I wanted to, uh, I wanted to answer uh, one of the questions that was asked of me. From Nikita, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, Nikita Kulkarni. And here is her question. I have a question, it says. Sometimes, actually, most of the times when I run over my lines over and over, instead of it becoming natural, it becomes mechanical. Can you tell me how I should deal with this? Great question. I think that uh, what you have to remember, again, is that acting is a two-step process. It sounds to me like what you're doing is you're bringing the first step, which is the preparation, into your executing. So in other words, you're sort of thinking about the process as you're trying to execute. It's sort of like if I was playing the guitar and I'm thinking about the notes as I play, of course it's going to feel mechanical. I think once you grasp that the second step of acting is a completely different step from the preparation, it's the executing, then hopefully that will help you in, um, in being able to sort of overcome this. So the question would be, when you're acting, if you're not thinking about the technique, what are you actually thinking about? What do, I, what, what do I think about? Where do I put my brain, as I've said earlier in some of the other videos? Well, what you do is you start reacting and receiving. You start taking things in, and all you have to do is put all of the responsibility to do things onto your scene partner and react, and just let them induce you to say and do what you need to do and say in the scene and trust that those lines will just come. So anyway, I hope that that answers your question. Um, I hope you enjoyed the scene. I, I, again, I just love watching the scene. Um, and we'll be doing this, uh, this series. Um, next time we'll be, uh, we'll be covering another film and uh, one of my favorite performances. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching the Heller Approach Acting Studios YouTube channel. Don't forget to click subscribe if you haven't done so already so you can see all of our latest videos. Thank you for watching the Heller Approach Acting Studio.